The stuff I knew, some of it I didn't know, and uh, some of it was news to me. The way it was portrayed today by Fiona, I thought that was fantastic. It was great to see such a good turnout uh, today for the talk and it's Fiona's second talk and there was a lovely presentation to her as well which was well deserved and well done to the men's shed that's operating, uh, operating here in Banlasso. It was a lovely presentation, the old rosary beads. It was very interesting to know about because we saw for so many years the road open and closed and open and closed because I'm walking a, a, a lot here and uh, the workers uh, stop and they were all there and we say what's about and you know sing and go in the in the town and, and look everywhere it's so many things to, to discover. It was amazing that thing on top of the chimney. I was surprised about the bridge coming into the town because um, I've, I've always kind of associated with what's there now but on reflection I realised that there is more arches to it so there was a substantial bridge there that you know I hadn't even thought about before this and it was built by um, a Malby guy back in the sometime in the 1600s and of course there was other finds there with the, to do with the market house and stuff like that. No, in fact, the most surprising for me was that stone with the tree thing. She said that it's near the court. I never know where the court is. And uh, to, to, for the level of water, but to me it's a sign for the druidic people. So that's the most surprising, I would say. The surprising aspects? Yeah, well, I think the history of the Tudor Bridge uh, how it was extended over the years. But I think we'd all be aware of the stonework in Banalaslo and the beauty of the stonework, but the detail that is visible as you walk around. I think Fiona was fantastic at uh, portraying that today. And when you walk around the town, it's worth slowing down and just observing. But I also think as a source of, uh, for tourism, I mean, Banalaslo is the gateway to the west, but I think this should be the first step because Banalaslo has so much to offer in those smaller details. And sometimes there's more history in the smaller detail than there is in a large thing. But well done to the library here where we are today and to Fiona. I just thought the way she imparted her knowledge was fantastic.